standing waves in a stretched string and uh, both the ends are open that is called a uh, open end if one end is closed and another end is open that is called a uh, open end here now uh, open end for the open end the normal modes are uh, produced that is a uh, uh, v is equal to nu uh, l by uh, nu n by 2l we got that is now for the closed end closed end means one end is open and another end is uh, closed for this uh, normal modes are the harmonics produced is for example this is the uh, now for this this is the uh, anti node and uh, this is the node these are the uh, harmonics for this this is the first harmonic this is the second harmonic and uh, this is the third harmonic and uh, this is the fourth harmonic where these are the anti nodes and uh, these are the uh, nodes okay these are the nodes for the both at uh, open ends these are the harmonics at uh, both uh, open ends now for the closed end the harmonics producer is uh, like this here for the closed end for the closed end the standing waves producer is depending on the that is we have already that is a uh, sine kx is equal to n plus 1 by 2 uh, into pi by that we can get x is equal to uh, that is v is equal to we can get uh, nu into n plus 1 by 2 by 2l that is nu into n plus 1 by 2 into 2l where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on here if we write this uh, n is equal to 0 then v is equal to will get uh, 1 by 2 into nu by 2l that is a uh, nu by 4l will get this is the fundamental frequency of the standing wave for the closed end that is a uh, next uh, if we write a uh, n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on here only will get odd multiples of the normal modes for example if you write n is equal to 1 then this uh, v2 is equal to nu into 1 plus 1 by 2 by 2l that is a uh, 3 by 2 that is 3 by 3 into nu by 4l will get this is a uh, v2 if you write a uh, v3 then we'll get 5 into nu by 4l here if you write this a uh, this is the first harmonic, second harmonic and third harmonic. If you observe this, we will get only the odd multiples of the normal modes. Here only we are getting odd multiples because here this is the closed end. For the closed end, we will get only the odd multiple and the remaining uh, modes are vanishes. Here then uh, the normal modes for the both uh, for the closed end uh, here here in this vessel i am taking some water up to this uh, it is filled with a uh, water then in this we will get the waves that is a uh, standing waves like this this is the node and uh, this is the anti node here always we will get this uh, node at the closed end are where the water is touching will get a node and then the other side will get a anti node this is first the uh, first harmonic next uh, will get a second harmonic here it is filled up to this uh, water now in this that means here uh, we'll get a uh, this is the second harmonic 
that is a second harmonic like this we will get the harmonics only odd multiples of the harmonics we are getting here remaining multiples are vanishing that is a v1 is equal to nu by 4 l v2 is equal to 3 nu by 4 l v3 is equal to 5 nu by 4 l if we take the ratio we will get 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to and so on these are the this is the ratio of the uh, standing waves produced in a closed end now uh, we we'll coming uh, we are going to discuss uh, beats here beats means uh, which have a same uh, phase traveling in a medium two uh, waves are traveling in a medium in the same direction two waves are traveling in a same direction then the resultant wave uh, then the resultant uh, amplitude is changing that is a uh, decreasing of amplitude or the increasing of amplitude or waxing and waning of amplitude waxing and waning of an amplitude is called beats and uh, the frequency of this beat is called a uh, beats frequency here when two waves are traveling in a medium along the same direction then of uh, same frequency then there is a waxing and waning of uh, frequency or that is a uh, amplitude this is called a uh, beat frequency if a wave has uh, first wave has a frequency nu1 and second wave has a frequency nu2 then nu1 minus nu2 is called the beat frequency delta nu because of this uh, beats produced in a medium then we have some advantages we can tune we can tune the instrument tuning of instrument is caused by the this uh, beats frequency and uh, if for example in a mines there is any contaminations of gases are present that can be determined by this uh, producing of beats and uh, uh, contamination this is contamination of uh, gases and uh, next uh, in the cinematography for the producing of uh, special effects special sound effects will use uh, these uh, beats simply beats means the waxing and waning of amplitude of a wave is called a uh, beats and uh, the beats frequency delta nu is equal to nu1 minus nu2 this is called this is the beats now uh, doppler effect here doppler effect uh, in the 1842 doppler this doppler derived the uh, uh, that means doppler given this uh, doppler effect and experimentally proved by the boys ballet it is proved by the boys ballet that is in the year 1845 here simply this doppler effect means when the source of the sound is approaching the observer or the source of the sound is moving away from the observer then there is a decreasing or increasing of the intensity of the sound that is called a doppler effect or uh, this is called a doppler shift simply the doppler shift means the decreasing or increasing the intensity of the sound is called doppler effect this was proved uh, experimentally by bias ballet in uh, 1845 year uh, and uh, in this to study this uh, doppler effect or uh, to prove this doppler effect there are uh, three situations one is the source is uh, moving here the source is moving and uh, observer is at rest here observer is a stationary and next uh, the source is at rest the source is at rest and uh, observer is uh, moving observer is moving and uh, if uh, both uh, source and uh, observer both uh, source and observers are moving these are the three situations we have to understand for this uh, doppler effect simply doppler effect means when a 
uh, when the source of sound is approaching the observer or moving away from the observer then there is a increasing or decreasing of the intensity of sound that is called a Doppler effect. 